Hello, welcome to our Friday Business News Report. It's now time to bring a feature on the show today as we look at the innovation and the technology of 3D printing. Now, so many players and stakeholders in the sector continue to advocate increased adoption of 3D printing in the country to reduce the dependence on importation. Now, they note that the technology can help the country save well over 2 trillion naira expended on spare parts importation yearly and much more. Now, by developing capacity and deploying 3D technology skills and designs in the manufacturing sector over the next 10 years, stakeholders also believe that the nation can, sa can save about 30 trillion naira, create over 100,000 new jobs, and increase the country's gross domestic product by at least 30%. Joining me now in our Lagos studio to understand the scope of 3D printing technology and much more, I have engineer Yomi Fowode, the uh, managing director of FIAM Technologies Limited. He's also an information system and management consultant. Good to have you on the breakfast show this morning. Good morning. To you and good morning to Nigeria. Now, 3D printing for so many economies in Africa is still a novelty. It's a new frontier, even for the global space. Let's understand the scope of this, looking at tomorrow's technology today, the adoption, the reception we've seen so far, and why this is going to be a major change to the narrative in manufacturing so far across the globe. Um, the narrative itself, it's a bit uh, far off. Mm. It's not uh, new in the real sense. It's a technology that has been on for over 10, 20 years. But we're just finding it now in the African continent. The 3D technology started a long time. When you see the architects giving you 3D um, plans and all, plans and all yeah. those things. But it wasn't the printing aspect <laughs> of it. Now, the printing technology is about to do many things that have been out of tune that mm. we think were impossible before. If you go into the industrial level, the med uh, medical aspect, the IT aspect, real estate, uh, real estate, even education. Mm. I mean, in the Western world, some secondary schools are already having 3D printers there. The idea is about you trying to imagine an object or a vision, what you want, intend to do. As a child, you put it on paper, you're able to come up with something and print it out, and you see straight away, oh, I can achieve this. And that's kind of the mind-boggling mm. issue on it. You mentioned to us what it can bring into the economy along the line. It, it will create a lot of jobs. A lot, we are talking about thousands, hundreds of thousands of jobs, because we are talking about issues on people getting personalized medical uh, pills for yourself. You have maybe malaria now, you are told you have to use paracetamol or whatever. Well, it's going to be personalized to you because it's going to be printed right there. Mm. You'll see it yourself when it's done. 3D is all about 3D objects right, being developed by slicing. They slice layer by layer, layer by layer, so that you're able to achieve that precise purpose. Mm. It's the precision that makes the difference. Let's now deal with some of the misconceptions we have here in Nigeria, the sales and marketing of 3D printing uh, products and a whole lot more. This requi uh, requires a whole lot of uh, investment drive, especially for having such technology purchased. How do we now begin to have such purchases come at affordable cost? It's still relatively expensive and uh, the capital cost of running such a business is quite high. It's not that it's expensive. Because the cost is the same in the Western world. It's the exchange rate. That, that makes, makes it the fuel, yes. that inflation. Yes, the inflation. How do we go about it? I think we have had such situations before in this country. I remember when IT first came in, the in I mean, information technology in the mm. early 80s into the, into the country. Lots of these laptops, computers we are buying so cheap now. They were so high, the cost then. I think what we are been trying to talk mm. with it's explaining to some financial organizations mm -hmm. to be able to deal to be able to deal with these issues by coming out with a plan or plans to help businesses. We've been talking to banks, look, yes, it has some financial capital outlay, but it can they will come up with designs where they can help businesses to 
raise the capital, initial capital. Mm. But over time, once you have it, you have it. Mr. Fode, let me button here for the lack of time. Now, let's have your thoughts on uh, installation services, training and retraining. That's quite critical as well. And then the role of research and development. This would also help the reception we have here and also propel the level of growth we'll see in the printing and manufacturing sector. What do you see playing out the interface within all of these? There research, different development, techno training and much more. Different manufacturers at the moment have different technologies. We had one at our presentation on Wednesday, where the Deputy Governor of Lagos State came in as the uh, guest of honor at that program. We came out with Kodak technology. Mm. We installed to the viewers, they saw how it worked, they saw how the materials are built, and they saw the output of the printer. There is no problem concerning the installation. There is no problem concerning the backup services. There is no problem concerning the um, the materials and the training. Mm. The area we want to achieve is that most of this thing can be done in Nigeria rather than we taking our foreign currency outside. For so such services. Yes, that's why research and development is one of the best areas we are talking with. We are developing this with higher institutions, some higher institutions research centers. We've called on people to come in and invest into the research and development section of mm. this. Once we're able to achieve that one, most of the funds we are sending out will be within the system. Therefore, there won't be outflow, I mean, capital outflow of our foreign currencies. I mean, there's nothing so much uh, out of team with what's going on in the world. It's, there are things we can easily do here. Nigerians mm -hmm. are intelligent. We have resources, human resources to do it. The only thing lacking is the tools to do it. Mm -hmm. So if we're able to get the tools here and people get to that level, we'll get this internally. And that will resolve the issue of high cost of the materials. But whether we like it or not, is the in thing. Is the only object for the fourth re revolution, industrial revolution. After the present thing, Internet of Things, we are right there now. Mm. We can't afford to go back. What will be our biggest mistake? Not joining now. Thank you very much for your time on The Breakfast Show. This morning, we've been speaking with Engineer Yomi Fawode, Information and System Management Consultant, and also the Managing Director of FIAM Technologies Limited. It's been a pleasure speaking Thank with you. Thank you very much. Uh, we keep our fingers crossed to see how things will pan out with the reception of 3D technology and its establishment gaining more ground in Nigeria.